Hello, my name is Yves van Horne and I'm one of the creators of Code Sandbox. And I'm creating this video because I want to show you a feature that I've been working on for the past few weeks. Normally we announce these features with a blog post or by sending out some tweets, but this feature is so interactive that I thought that it would make more sense to make a video of it. So, on to the feature. It's called Code Sandbox Live and the name already gives pretty much away what it does. It allows you to open up your sandbox for live collaboration with others, but not just live, but real-time collaboration. So if I would press this button, I get a URL. And if I would share this URL with someone else, like my friend Buzz, then they will see the same sandbox as I'm seeing. Let me make this a bit bigger for you. And I can see their cursor live. And it's pretty fast, give, okay, it's given that it's on the same PC, but yeah, they can edit, like uh, start adding and nice name. And they can also, for example, edit in different files and you will see it updating. Another cool thing is, is that you can see where they're looking. So this border here is saying that uh, boss is in hello and I'm in index. So it's live collaboration and Boss can do anything that he wants to do. For example, create new files like test.js and we'll update and create code in it, delete files. It's all the same um, permissions. But in some cases you want to limit the permissions of what someone can do. For example, if you're giving a workshop and you have like 30 different or 40 different people looking at the same sandbox and you, then it can be quite confusing as if everyone could edit. So we have multiple modes. We have the first mode, that's the default mode. It's open so everyone can edit. The second mode is classroom. And if you set it to classroom, you can select who can edit by pressing this plus. And Bus can now not edit anything anymore. So maybe you can hear me typing. He's trying to add code, but that's uh, not possible. And all the cursor changes that happen also don't happen. So it will not get cluttered with a lot of cursors. Now, if I make him an editor, then he can start editing again. And you can see the cursor again. Um, I can also demake him an editor if that's a real word. The system behind this is using operational transforms and that's super cool because with operational transforms we can do um, like almost conflict-free editing. Operational transforms allow us to edit simultaneously in the same code and it will make the code conflict-free. At least it will try to do it so that if two people are doing the same edits, they will still see the same document. And it allows us to, to do much more. For example, if I would select this text here and Boss would decide to move this line up, then you can see that my selection moves with it. And that goes all the way. Also, if Boss would type in my selection, then my selection would grow in both sides. And we could, if I would not be on my local computer, <laughs> then we could do edit. We could do edits at the same time, and it's really cool because Bus. We did a test where Bus was just typing in one line, and I was making all these different movements up and down, and it just stayed in sync, and he could just continue typing, and that was that was a kind of a realization. Like, whoa, this is super powerful. Um, but yeah, I think this is everything I want to show. I think everything is here. Yeah, you can make directories and such. You can add dependencies and it will also happen on the other side. So I'm really curious what you will do with it and uh, what new things this will allow for Code Sandbox. So let me know what you think. And also, if you have any issues, just send me a message.